hi friends today we will be going ahead and seeing about the deployment mode in the previous section we have seen about uh, how to do the installation configuration starting stopping the server configuring node manager talked about boot the property file we have also seen how to do the deployment different ways of doing the deployment so now we will be seeing about what are the different modes in which we can deploy a application so uh, whenever we deploy any java based application there are three modes in which we can deploy any application in web logic the first mode which is called the stage mode of deployment that is the default mode of deployment for managed servers so what does this stage mode of deployment means and how can you find out what is the default mode of deployment so you just have to click on servers go to the manage server and then you can go to the deployment you can see the default staging mode is stage mode and uh, you can see the where the stage mode folder is it is there in the manage server stage folder a state folder will be created once we deploy any application so what does this stage mode means a stage mode of deployment means that whenever we deploy any application admin server will copy the application to the state folder of each of the managed servers where we have targeted our application so stage mode of deployment means admin server will copy the application to the stage folder of each of the managed servers where we have targeted our application so let's go ahead and see that so right now there is no application which is deployed in my web logic so now i will also make sure that uh, let's go inside the, our domain home and uh, let's go to server ms1 there is no stage folder and in here also you can see there is no stage folder which has been created and we also have seen that stage mode is the by default mode of deployment so now once we do the deployment it can be using uh, your admin console or it can be using your wlst or scripts whatever modes but whatever has been configured that will be it took effect so now see this is the location where my application is i will go ahead i will deploy it as the application i will target it on admin and server 1 and manage server 2 and then i will this is these are the config name of the application so now here is the source accessibility tab so use the default defined by the deployment target so if you select this one this is the by default this is the one which is being selected if you select this one so whatever has been defined on the managed server level right now i have shown you on when we clicked on ms1 deployment the default uh, mode of deployment was stage so whatever has been defined on the server level that will take effect now if i select this copy this application onto each target for me this will make sure that the admin server copies the application to each of the target so stage mode it will it, this particular option will make sure that the application is copied on each target for me so this will make sure that it is go, it goes in the stage mode and the last option i will make the deployment accessible from the following location if you do this then it will go the application will be accessible from this location and a local copy will not be used so now uh, I, we can use either of these two because this will also make it a stage mode of deployment and if we select this option it will also make it as a stage of mode of deployment so let me use the copy this application onto each target for me and then next and then i will finish this so right now if you see it's um, it's doing something so what it is doing the admin server is copying the application to the stage folder of each of the managed server so now let me go ahead and i have done the deployment 
now can you see there is a stage folder just now got created and inside the stage folder you will find the browse store the application name and the file so how come this file came here it is because of the admin server so admin server copied this application to the stage folder of the manage servers where we have targeted now once we hit this application uh, it will be used they will use the local copy for serving our request so this is the stage mode of deployment and this is the default mode of deployment for us now i will show you the no stage mode so that can be done in two ways you can either go to the manage server and in the deployment you can change the staging mode by default to no stage mode and then you can use the first option which i have shown you while deploying the application whatever is defined on the server level or the next step or the other way is to go to the install select the application which you want to deploy and select the application click on the targets so and here in this i will last option i will make the deployment accessible from the following location if you select this option it will make sure the deployment goes in the no stage mode so in the no stage mode a single copy of the application will be used and all the managed servers will go and pick the uh, application from this location whatever location you have have specified so a single copy will be used for your application to be served now let me show you that as well so i have deployed my browser store as stage mode that has been copied i have deployed my calendar as a no stage mode so now let me go back to the stage folder of the managed servers now if i go here you will see there is no calendar uh, dot uh, calendar folder just not it has not been created because i have done the deployment in no stage mode so i will show you here as well there is no uh, calendar dot var file which has been present so now when i hit this application then uh, the admin server or the managed server will go to the location where i i have given the uh, the location where the application is present and it will pick the application from this location so in no stage mode you have to make sure that this application the location where your application is should be accessible by all the managed servers so you so in no stage mode we use this no stage mode when your application is is big enough and you want you 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 want to do multiple changes in your application so in that case you want to uh, you want to change your application and deploy it once and for all the managed servers should pick the new application in that case you can do the go for no stage mode of deployment you can see here staging mode is no stage and if i show you browse store you will see stage so this, from here also you can identify what is the mode in which your application have been deployed so now the third stage of deployment is external stage mode so this what is this external stage mode so the external the only difference between a stage mode and a external stage mode is that in external stage mode web logic admin the person who is uh, handling that environment he has to copy the application to the stage folder of each of the managed servers where you want to target your application so the only difference between a stage and external stage is that in stage mode admin server will copy the application to the stage folder but in case of external stage mode web logic admin the person who is handling that environment he has to manually copy the application to the stage folder of each of the managed servers where we are going to target our application so let me show you like how can you configure uh, that your application should be uh, installed as a no stage mode or external stage mode you have to just click on server for this you have to make the changes 
in at the server level you have to go to the server deployment make it external stage and this is the stage folder which you have to remember it is just the same you just have to save it make the changes on manage server 2 as well we'll make it external stage and save it and then we'll make it activate our changes now these changes require a restart now we will restart uh, so if you want to see which all servers has to be restarted click on view changes and restart restart checklist you will see manage server 1 and manage server 2 has to be restarted because we have made a configuration change so i will select both manage server 1 and 2 i will do a force shutdown and i will start it again and now i will be deploying the application which is calendar not calendar this way i will be using my third application that is uh, um, messaging.var file so what i have to do i have to go ahead and find out where my application is my application is in desktop and software so i will copy this messaging.var file i will copy it now i have to go back to the server folder let me go to my domain home oracle middleware user projects domain and test domain and i have to go inside my servers ms1 stage now here i have to create a folder first thing i have to create a folder with the same name m-e-s-s-a-g-i-n-g -S -S messaging and go inside this folder and paste this application messaging.var file you just have to make sure that the spelling is right it should not be wrong so manually i have copied this application here uh, on the message on the server so let me copy this application to manage server 2 as well and i've done the copy in stage folder of manage server 2 as well so now mm, i have manually copied the application here and my servers are also running so let me go ahead and deploy my third application messaging.var as an external stage mode so it you if you go to the manage server one and deployment you will see the external stage is the default mode of deployment so now i will go ahead and do the deployment i will select i will select the messaging.var i will install it as an application i will select the manage servers ms1 and ms2 where i have targeted i have copied my application and this is and use the default defined by the deployment target so right now what is defined on my deployment target it is external stage mode which is defined there next and i will finish it so now it will go and check if the messaging.var file is present inside the staging folder or not if it is not there then it will throw a error message that also i will show you so now the application has been deployed so now you can see your messaging.var has been deployed and it is now up and running so this is how you do the external stage mode of deployment so let me show if we don't copy the application to the stage folder then what will happen what errors you will get so let me first deploy one of the application let me delete the calendar application so in order to delete any application or remove any application first thing is you have to make sure that the application has been stopped you have to select the application and stop the application then only if, unless and until your application is in prepared state you will not be allowed to delete the application so now it is in prepared state i can delete my calendar application so let it get deleted from the uh, from the weblogic admin server or this domain so now this application has been removed now let me do the deployment again so let me install the application at this time i will select calendar.var and let me deploy it as an application targeted on ms1 and ms2 
and then make sure that the use default defined by the deployment target and if you go here there is no calendar.var file which I have not copied right now I have not copied the calendar.var file in the <laughs> stage folder so now let's see if our deployment is successful or not so I will finish it and by default uh, because we have made the configuration changes on the server level we have selected uh, external stage so now you will be you will you will see this particular error like unable to activate the changes because the application is not present inside the manage server 2 as well as manage server 1 folder so there is no application so you are not able to do the deployment so that means you have not copied the application to the manage server folder so that is why you are getting this particular error so if you if you want to do the deployment of calendar you can see state folder but there is no application so that is why it is failed so you have to manually copy the application here in external stage mode and in stage mode admin server will copy the application to the stage folder of the managed servers and the third option was no stage mode a single copy of the application will be used by all the managed servers so you have to make sure that if you are deploying any application as a no stage mode it should be accessible by all the managed servers uh, if it is a distributed app environment in which your domain is extended on multiple machines then in that case you should have some shared location on that shared location your application should exist and from there you should you should give the deployment command so that was uh, all about the different deployment modes hope you have uh, got the clear understanding what are the different uh, modes so by default if someone asks us what is the default uh, mode of deployment for weblogic that is the stage mode let me tell you one more thing by default if you want to see the deployment mode for admin server that will be the no stage mode so admin server the staging mode by default which comes in is the no stage mode but uh, we will be deploying our application on managed servers that is why if someone asks us uh, then what is the default mode of deployment then we should go ahead and tell that stage mode is the default mode of the deployment and uh, if someone asks what is the stage directory you can tell us the domain home server managed server name and stage folder this staging directory you can change it if you want to customize your environment you can make the changes here as well there is no restriction you can make the changes so again one more time there are three modes of deployment stage mode no stage mode and external stage stage mode admin server will copy the the application to the stage folder of each of the managed servers where you have targeted your application no stage mode uh, a single copy of the application will be used by each of the managed servers and in external stage mode the web logic admin has to copy the application to the stage folder of all the managed servers where you are going to target your application so these are the three different modes in which you can deploy your application so hope you have got hope you have understood so let's meet in the next class